Alright, so good morning, student. Uh, today I will do this question based on uh, the spherical cavity inside a metallic spherical shell. Okay, a lot of students are scared of the concept of cavity inside a shell, right? And today what we will do is we will overcome this fear of solving the questions that have a cavity mentioned inside a shell. These questions are very simple. And we will apply our conceptual knowledge to solve these problems. So first of all, what I will do, I will increase the size of the question. Go through the question first, understand it. I will just give you 30 seconds. And then what we do is we start discussing the questions in detail. And I will give you detailed explanation of the solution. So first, read the question very carefully. Okay, this should be visible to you now. Okay, read the question. So what you've given is a situation of a spherical conductor in which you have two cavities carved out. The conductor is of radius R. The two cavities are A and B. This, is, this information is given to you. What you're doing is you're keeping a charge at the center of cavity 1 and at the center of cavity B. Okay, the outside conductor which is given to you has no charge given to it okay you have to answer the questions which are given to you below based on the information okay i hope you understood the situation conductor of radius r two cavities carved out of it center of the cavity you keep a charge and the question is what is the you can read the questions right so you're given one two three four five questions you're given very important if you're preparing for J mains, uh, J advanced, but also very important because this question is given in NCRT also. So important for your CBSC examination too. So please do not ignore this question at all. Try and do as many questions as you can on this concept. When you see a cavity, you, you may get a case study of cavity inside a spherical shell with a charge you know placed inside the cavity in your cbsc board examination and of course it is very important for your entrance examinations also so i will now reduce the size of the question i hope you have absorbed the question nicely and what we will do now is start solving it okay and, and i hope by now you have understood the situation quite clearly okay so this may be appearing bit I think light, right? It is not very, very dark, so to say. So what I will do is I will try and solve this question with the help of a relatively darker pen. Okay, so let me just complete the circle first. So this is your circle. Okay, so this is the circle. So I will just, now you, you have a sense, right? We're talking about a conductor and I've already explained to you about this conductor. And you are essentially going to focus on the questions okay let's read the first question the first question is what are the surface charge densities on a b and r which means automatically right what it means they're asking you the charge dense surface on the surface right so let's see if i keep a charge q a here and i keep a charge q b here and it is given that these charges are positive, okay? So you don't have to really struggle uh, when it comes to, you know, what is the sign of the charge. Now I will start writing. If you notice this particular cavity, which is A, if you keep a charge inside a cavity, right? What happens? It appears outside on the surface. So what, what is that you will get on the surface? You will get minus charge Okay, you will get minus charge on the cavity one. Okay, so this is the charge that appears. So charge on cavity A's surface is equal to minus QA. I hope this makes sense, right? If you keep a charge inside a hollow conductor, Right? It cannot stay there. It comes out. Right? So what it does is it induces the 
induces a charge on the surface and the net charge inside the conductor is what you cannot have a charge right it appears uh, on the surface so the if you keep a qa charge here it makes an appearance outside and appears as minus qa okay so what is the surface charge density surface charge density is minus qa divided by 4 pi a square that's your surface charge density on a similarly if you keep a charge qb at the center of the cavity which is b cavity the charge makes an appearance and the overall charge that comes out on the surface of b is a minus charge right so this is your minus so sigma b is equal to minus qb upon 4 pi b square right so far so good right total charge divided by the surface area these are the charge densities which are for a and b let's talk about sigma r you kept inside a hollow conductor again this is a hollow conductor a charge q b okay so you kept this charge q b and q a inside a hollow conductor what will happen this charge will make an appearance outside outside right so you will get a q a plus q b charge outside the conductor you cannot have a charge inside a hollow conductor right so it makes an appearance outside and therefore the total charge which comes is q a plus q b divided by that is the total charge which will make an appearance here okay on the surface of the radius r conductor so this this is the conductor these two were only the cavities okay just in case they are not visible i will just darken them okay so this is the upon 4 pi r square so our first part is over what have we done in this we have just taken that inside a cavity if you keep a charge here right qa it induces a charge minus qa on the surface right in induced charge right this is the total induced charge and if you take this area right for example you see a gaussian surface here the net charge enclosed is zero and there is no electric field available right this is what we need to understand so qa when it made appearance outside the cavity was because of in induction right so you have a qa it appears on the cavity due to the process of inducement of current right qa becomes minus qa here and then of course minus qa becomes plus qa when it reaches outside so minus qa here and then plus qa here so that the net charge remains same when i said net charge earlier that is what i meant the net charge has to be zero and stuff like that right so qa plus qb and similarly in the case of cavity b when you keep at the center of the cavity b because of inducement induction a charge appears on the cavity b also which is minus qb right and then minus qb which is this charge comes out in the form of plus qb because it cannot stay inside the conductor right so the reason for qa minus qa and qb is induced charge and the reason for qa plus qb is that the net charge inside the conductor cannot be zero i hope the distinction is clear in your mind let's go to the second question what is the field outside the conductor right so he is asking you what is the field here okay so this is outside the conductor this is your situation okay now we know the gauss law says that so let this radius be r so electric field outside conductor okay so electric field outside the conductor is equal to what the total charge enclosed by the gaussian surface qa plus qb is the total charge so qa plus qb is the total charge 
enclosed by the conductor right this is the charge which finally came on the surface the net charge inside is zero qa minus qa qb minus qb zero zero charge zero charge on the cavities and external charge is qa plus qb on the conductor because it appears you cannot have charge inside the conductor it comes understand static equilibrium guidelines so electric field will be 4 pi epsilon naught r square when r is the radius of the gaussian surface right this is the gaussian surface radius we are talking about i hope this is again clear in your mind what have we done we have calculated the electric field outside the conductor the conductor has two cavities inside it let's go to the third what is a force uh, what is a field inside the cavity what is the field inside the cavity which means right you have two cavities one is a and b so let's find the electric field inside the cavity if you notice the if i take a gaussian surface here right if i take a gaussian surface here inside the cavity the only charge i enclose is qa and in the other cavity the only charge which i enclose is qb so in the uh, cavity one the electric field which we have is qa by 4 pi r squared when r is the radius of the small Gaussian surface inside the cavity. And similarly, we can also write the electric field and it is a positive charge. So the electric field is radially outwards, ending and terminating at the negative part, which is the, which is what? Which is induced charge. So EB is equal to QB upon 4 pi r squared. This is the electric field inside the cavity from positive charge to the minus charge which is induced equal and opposite charge gets induced let's talk about the fourth question what is the force on qa and qb if you notice qa and qb right are uh, you know so they some people may argue that qb will apply a force on qa and qa will apply a force on qb now remember that this is a case of a hollow conductor and within a hollow conductor you have a cavity you don't have a coulomb's law like situation where you have two point charges you know having attraction or repulsion between them right so you don't have any situation like this where the charges attract each other or repel each other in this situation this is basically shielded even this charge is shielded inside the cavity, right? So, no influence inside the cavity. And therefore, there is no force which is experienced by A and B. A itself cannot apply force, right? You cannot apply force on yourself. And B, which may be at a certain distance from it, inside. This is a net charge is zero. And here also the net charge is zero so there is no force being experienced by a and b and they're also shielded by the conductor so and no electric field exists anyway right so there is no electric field for example inside the conductor let's say between a and b uh, cavities you cannot have an electric field because they are inside a so if there is no interaction there is no electric field between uh, existence of an electric field how does a charge experience a force without electric field, right? So, since there is no electric field inside the conductor, the two cavities may have a charge. At this place, you still may have inside the cavities some amount of electric field because of the induced charge. But see, this area, right, the area which is between uh, inside the conductor, right, has no electric field. So, no interaction. You need electric field of someone to experience the force. So no, no external electric field, no force being experienced and you cannot apply force on yourself. So QA and QB experience no force. Very important, right? You can expect a case study in CBSC or JE advanced or JE mains or even a small part of this can come in your need examination. 
which answer would change last part okay, which answer would change if a third charge qc is brought closer to the conductor so what we do this is the conductor which is given and i bring a charge qc close to it right close to it what will happen now the, you have a qa plus qb uniformly distributed on the sphere right the, because of the static equilibrium whenever an external charge is there or any charge is kept on a conductor here obviously the charge has come from inside and now this charge is uniformly spread on the conductor you bring a charge close to it from outside what will happen this equilibrium will get disturbed right so you will have a non uniform spread of charge now so earlier you were uniformly spread but now you will become non uniform so you know that famous case of a rod a rod and a charge you know brought closer to a metal uh, box uh, or a rod brought closer to another charged rod so the process of induction happens minus becomes plus separation of charges happens right so non uniform way of uh, distribution will happen so short answer if you bring a charge this uniform charge distribution will get disturbed and become non uniform because you will have interaction between these two the charges may get repelled uh, depends what is the sign of qc if qc is negative you know it will attract everything so maybe the charges accumulate towards this side uh, negative charge not charges and the positive charges become you know are on the other end so it depends on what is the sign of qc but qualitatively the non uniformity of charge distribution will happen i hope you have understood what am what are we trying to do in this question it's a very important question for students who want to understand the cavity questions inside a spherical shell okay very important remember again if you have a cavity you keep a charge it induces a charge on itself right and then this charge makes an appearance outside so the net charge inside the cavity becomes zero this is qa minus qa is equal to zero qb minus qb minus qb is the induced charge is zero right and then minus qb here becomes here as plus qb and minus qa here comes as plus qa just a reputation just a something i want to emphasize should be clear in your mind so wait for my next video thank you very much for your time you can expect a lot of questions from my channel in your board examination in your entrance examination irrespective of the part of the world you sit in and therefore it's very important that you subscribe to this channel and do not miss any question whatsoever right so uh, in times to come i will increase the case studies which i promised this is yet another and you can go to my playlist you will find a lot of case studies inside my live recorded classes as well as my recorded lectures so thanks a lot and I look forward to see you soon bye